Hello Internet and welcome to my channel. In this video we'll be taking a look at Swansea City's financial situation, their current squads and generic overview. We're trying to stay up throughout the night as Football Manager 2018 is hot off the press. So we're trying to get each and every one of the Premier League sides up online so you have a quick overview. Um, but let's waste no more time, just jump straight in with a quick view of Swansea City. That's right, folks. Here we are once again with another Premier League overview for the new FM18 Hot Off the Press released last night, barely 24 hours old. Um, and here we are. And it looks like this is a first. Um, there's a quick overview of uh, Swansea City's preseason. Doesn't look too much. Good. They've only got a couple games planned Siena, trip to Italy, and then uh, I'm not sure what this is, Royce, where that is. Um, it looks like a Spanish team, um, not performing too well, they're not, they're not doing too great. But yeah, only two pre-season matches for Swansea um, in, a, in a what will be a blockbuster season for them in the Premier League. Obviously, big departure, big shoes to fill in uh, Guilfrey Sigurdsson, he went to Everton. Um, in the real world, so you're gonna la have that lacking in your side. But anyway, let's just jump and take a look at your financial situation. Does not look too promising, to be honest with you. Despite that sale, um, you only got 10 million pounds to spend and a wage budget of 1.1 million. Um, they do say if you do sell, you get 90% of any revenue you do make. Um, you can push it, so, but you got a bit of wiggle room. You can probably push it towards 16 million, but then you are going to eat away at your current wage which is already at 1.04 million so eh, not the it's not one of the greatest uh, premier league uh, financial packages so you might want to explore something else but if you're a die hard swansea fan you're probably going to work with what you got anyway excuse, excuse me Woo. <coughs> anyway let's take a look at the uh Situation you have in your under 18s, a lot of Welsh in there. That's good to see. Keeping it traditional, uh, despite being in the English Premier League, you do have uh, like 90% Welsh. Got a future Gilfie Sigurdsson in here. Look at this guy, Armagh Boar Good Johnson. Did he? Did he? Was he brought into the club under the uh, expectation to play alongside him in the future? But anyway, future, future three star, according to the uh, coach. Um, currently valued at only 40,000, but he's a youngster. Give him time. He's only 16 years old, so plenty of room for maneuver in there. Uh, what about your current couple of English fellas in there? Jaden Reed. Yeah, not really, not really promising. 17 years old. The time is ticking, sunshine. Time is ticking. Let's have a look at the most valued player in this uh, setup. It is the Icelandic chap. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy to write home about. Um, um, if there is someone out there that I'm, I'm missing, I'm, I do apologise. Um, let's take a look at your under-23 setup. This is where you'll see a lot of um, v uh, variations in quality. A lot of players who don't quite fit into the setup for your manager, um, despite may, they may be internationals, they might find themselves in the under-23s. You can only have so many players in your main squad. But this is what Swansea's under 23s look like. Four goalkeepers on the books. One key one, Christopher Nordfeld, 28 years old. He's knocked out. He's valued at near 7 million. So potential sale there. You, you could offload him and make some make some extra cash. Jordi Almat, he's on loan. Where is he? Is he on loan at Swansea? He's on, one, he's on loan at Real Hispals. Uh, he's, rank, he's ranked at 9.5 or 9.25 million, excuse me for the noise here. Um, but if he, if he doesn't fit in your books, get him on the transfer list. Again, it's some more money you might want to uh, generate there. Let's have a look at um, towards the bottom end here. Borja Baston. He's ranked at, uh, when I say ranked, I mean valued at 11.75 million. He's on loan at Malaga. Again, that's some money you could potentially make. Uh, Jefferson Montero, he's also out on loan. So, without further ado, let's value these guys. Put them in value order. So, three of your heavy hitters who are combined, you know, 25 million, give or take, uh, are out on loan. You know, that's some money you could be, you could be making. You know, you could you could generate that income if you were to get rid of them. Oliver McBurney, future youngster here, 21 years old. He's wanted by 
a uh, couple of League One sides and a Championship side. Matt Grimes, he was on Rovers Books, I believe, yep, yeah, for a short loan. Um, again, to not major avail. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, a quick quick overview of the under-23s. I just like to have a look, see any weird statistics that might stand out. Let's have a, take a look at the squad, uh, the future, the, the full-time squad, and have a look um, what we've got to play with. Two goalkeepers, obviously Fabianski is worth quite a bit of money, knocking on 15 million. Erwin Mulder, uh, not is looks like a steady pair of hands, but uh, valued only uh, close towards 3 million. Uh, you've got Renato Sanchez in there. Look at his valuation. That's quite, uh, you know, that that's not what you would have expected. You would have expected it to be 20, 20 some. Um, obviously, he's not really set the set Swansea or Wales on fire since his arrival, but 10.25 is, is is pretty cheap. Tammy Abraham in there, he's he's doing all right in the real world. Uh, Lu Luciano Narsing, uh, valued at 3.25 million, wanted by both Milan sides. Jay Fulton, 7.25 million, wanted by both Sheffield sides. Angel Angel, try saying that five times fast. Uh, he is interested, generating some interest from AC Milan on a possible loan deal. And Angel Rangel is 34 years old. Um, Federico Fernandez also wanted by a couple of the Premier League sides. Um, but let's take a look at something that is pretty critical: is your contract situation. Ta obviously, Tammy Abraham on loan. Kind of, you don't have much say in that unless you're going to stump up the money and bring him in on opponent deal. Leon Britton, his deal, his contract ends at the end of the season. You might want to offer him a new deal. Same goes for Angel Rangel and for Federico Fernandez. Both of their deals end in the summer. Uh, also, Ki Sung Young, he he's, he's a decent player. You might want to rectify his contract situation. He's only 28 years old, got two or three good years ahead of him. But he does have an injury uh, with me at the moment. But it's, it's, it's minor. Minor injury. Nothing to uh, worry about. So let's kick on forward and have a look at what the uh, expectations are for the club. They want you, the board, expect you to avoid relegation. They expect you to reach the fifth round of the FA Cup. And they also they expect you to reach the fourth round of the League Cup. Now, obviously, Swansea are one of those teams that... Uh, if you were to check out the rest of my overviews, a lot of the heavy hitters don't really give a stuff about the, the League Cup. But Swansea amongst Bournemouth and Burnley and teams like that, um, they expect you to do, you know, have a decent showing in the uh, in the Carabao League Cup. Let's take a look at your team report. Yep, a lot of text and info in there. Feel free to pause the video and have a good old read, but I cannot do give up too much time to look at that uh team report this is your squad depth yeah your, your wing backs are an area of concern this guy obviously year number one we like we like a bit of olsen uh both him and his brother good stalwarts for the club at the time they left uh just when the ship was getting uh warm um moved on to norwich and since moved on to swansea but yeah, those two areas you would probably want to consider strengthening. Um, and your forward line. You've got Boney back now on a permanent deal, it looks like. Um, I have not, to this day, which is the October 27th, I've not, I don't think he's actually scored since his return. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think he has. Uh, moving on to the dynamics of the team. Good atmosphere, again, just like the rest of these, 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 these overviews. These two call the managerial support and the match cohesion they're not really going to be affected um, because you're just taking over so they're going to need a bit of time for that to happen as for your leaders in your uh, groups leon Britton, angel rangel and fabianski are your three players that you consider as captain and then you're looking at this bunch of players here um maybe one of those will, will become a standout uh leader over the next year or so oh there's my text message there maybe that's from the board maybe they want to have a chat with me i don't know we'll, 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 we'll talk about that later anyway here's your core social group bunch of players in here that you would consider mentors for the youngsters um and overall happiness leon Britton is an extremely good spirits so that's good to see federico fernandez an excellent mood and ki sung young despite his injury is extremely good 
Uh, moving down the pecking order, Alfie Mawson, 23 years old, centre-back. He's in excellent spirits. Jay Fulton the same. Renato Sanchez, despite being on loan, uh, is in superb spirits. If there's something I have missed, please leave a comment in the section below. I plan to do each and every Premier League team over the next day or so. Uh, however, if there's a team out there, maybe you want me to check out Siena or a Chinese team or maybe even uh, some far te a team out far in, the, in Japan or something like that, just let me know. Scribble them down in the comments section and I will try and knock out a video for you. Uh, once the initial craziness of the beta and the actual release of FM18 does calm down, I do plan to do some game saves and I've got a few epic... Uh, ones in the pipeline so please be sure to stick around but until next time thanks for watching please like share and subscribe check back for more fm content over the next few days as for my rovers fans fear not blackburn rovers content will always be my number one so don't you go anywhere anyway let's head back into the dugout for some more fm action